It's DDK and I'm back today with another video. Huge shout out to you for tuning in. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. Guess what? I got another one for you guys. Another one. I have another app for you guys and it is called Freight. And today, in this video, we are going to do our first order on the new app, baby. And I'm going to give you guys all of the requirements you need, the vehicles you can use, and everything else you need to know so you can go out there and get this dough. Let's go. Now we're going to get into the details of the order. We are picking up an order from a place called Roti. Not Rodi, but Roti. They sell Mediterranean food. The distance is 2.9 miles. The dimensions of the order is 16 by 16 by 16. It weighs four pounds, and we will receive a payment of $36.98, enough money to pay the rent. We about to pull up and get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. Let's go. I'm here to pick up this order to get an order, baby. Let's see <laughs> if they got our stuff together so we went up to Cheddar. Hello. How you doing? I have a, uh, a order to pick up for, I have the order number. This is my first time doing it, so I have no clue. Uh, the number is E155CDCB. Okay. Um, do you have the receipt? I have to take a picture of it for some reason. Uh, that may no, be the receipt right there. How you doing, boss? I got yourself. I'm living the dream. I can't complain. I woke up this morning. So just so you guys know, we have to take a picture of the receipt and we have to take a picture of the food before we leave, baby. Thank you very much, sir. Hit him with the photo right here. <laughs> got that, use that. Then we're gonna take a picture of the food. Put it right here. <laughs> Take a picture of that. Hello. Hey, how you doing, John? My name is Jerome. I'm here with your roti order. Um, okay. Am I supposed to be at 1900? Because on the paperwork it says 1500. Products, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you in the Are you in the main lobby? Um, I'm, I haven't went to the main lobby yet, but I'm outside of the main lobby. So, um, is it 1900 $1, Because on the paperwork it says fifteen hundred, but is this nineteen hundred or fifteen hundred? It is nineteen hundred. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll meet you right in the lobby, sir. Okay. Is there? Should I get a card or something? No, I can take it up for you. Whatever you need, sir. It's fine with it's fine with me. Whatever works okay. best for you. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks. Bye bye. It was a disaster, baby. We got lost because they put the wrong address on that drone, baby. Wrong address. We riding around. I had to call him. He riding around on my side of the town. John? Yes. How you doing? That is everything, sir. As you guys can see, uh, that was super easy. We went there, picked up the order, dropped the order off, and guess what? Instead of $36.98, we received, bingo, $56.98, and it only took us about 20 minutes to get in it. Now, I know you're wondering, what is Freight? How do I sign up? I'm about to break down everything you need to know so you can go out there and get this dough. Freight is a courier service that delivers orders for multiple different retails, such as the towel shop, Midas, Motion Industries, Teriyaki Madness, Westco, and of course, you saw we just delivered a order from Rody. So you can be delivering a wide range of items from catering orders all the way to auto parts. Hold your horses, buddy. Before you go sign up for freight, these are the requirements you must meet. Number one, you must be at least 21 years of age. Number two, you must have two full years recent experience in the class of vehicle you're operating for freight. Meaning, if you are driving a car, you've been driving a car your whole life, you cannot just pop up with a semi and sign up for freight. You cannot do that. So keep that in mind. Number three, you must possess a valid driver's license in the state you would normally be driving a vehicle in. Number four, 
Freight will review the NVR, also known as the Motor Vehicle Report, for each driver prior to contracting, and again, at least once a year. So they're going to check your Motor Vehicle Report, and they also will continue to check it once a year. So do not be riding around and getting in and getting tickets. And last but not least, drivers must report to freight of any moving violations. Now, if you met those requirements, you are going to go to your app store and sign up for this app. Bingo! You see how it look? I always get this question. How does the app look? How does the app look? This is how it looks. So if you're not paying attention right now, make sure you pay attention. Now, in order for you to sign up, you will need this documentation. Your driver's license, your license plate registration, your insurance card or declaration pages, naming you are insured as a driver for this vehicle. You will need to take a picture of the front, back, driver, and passenger side of your vehicle. And you will need to take a picture of the vehicle cargo space. So if you have a car, it'll be the trunk or the back seat, whichever one you want to put. Now, this is another question I always get. Do you have to pay for a background check? Absolutely. Let me tell you this. All drivers pay a $30 fee for their background check and processing. Let me say it again. All drivers pay a $30 fee for their background check and processing. Now, just so you guys know, your vehicle cannot be older than 20 years old. That's a great play, baby, because most of the apps require 10 years. This one is 20 years. So you can have like a 2003 and get busy. Number two, you cannot have any physical damage or defects. So if you got T-bone staked right here, if somebody hit you from the side and your door, your driver door is all the way over here, unfortunately, you cannot do freight unless you go get it fixed. Number three, your vehicle must be in a safe and operating condition and it must be clean. So if you've been hoarding and you got pop bottles and all that stuff, hey, you better clean it up before you take them pictures. Number four, number four is leaning more towards box trucks and cargo vans with the open space in the back. You must have the proper equipment to secure your load. So if you have a big load, you need straps to secure everything in because you don't want everything flying around while you're driving. Number five, you must have the proper registration and insurance for that vehicle. And last but not least, number six, you must have the proper license plates on your vehicle. I don't even know why they gotta put that. That's like common sense. That is common sense. You cannot get a car license plate and put it on a, a semi. You just can't do that. Now, freight does allow a lot of different vehicles. As you guys can see, we just delivered in the car. The car, you could transport smaller HVAC items, auto and plumbing parts, tools, paint cans and other products so anything that's kind of small next is the mid size now this will be an suv minivan stuff like that you could transport larger items like appliances lumber and other materials then you have the cargo van for the cargo van you could transport larger quantities of things like building materials signage tables and lighting and last but not least the box trucks with the box trucks you could transport multiple pallets, construction material, or four plus big box items. Now, another question I get all the time. Can you use a rented vehicle? No, you cannot use a rented vehicle to sign up. But if you are driving for freight already and something happens to your vehicle, like you need to get it fixed or you get in an accident or something, you can then use a rented vehicle while your vehicle is being repaired. But other than that, it must be leased or owned by you for you to go out there and get busy. I know you're wondering right now, how long is this process going to take? I'm gonna break it down for you. Once you've completed each phase of the application process, your information and documents are reviewed for accuracy. They're making sure you ain't lying on the application. Next, if approved, you are sent a notice to complete a background check. So you have to sign off saying that they can do a background check. Then Freight is gonna use a third party to do your background check as well as get your MVR report. This process can take up to 14 days, but it usually happens within one week. If you've learned some in today's video, go ahead and smash that like button. That's gonna let me know that you guys want me to continue to do videos like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and do not skip those ads. And lock in tomorrow, because we get back to this bag. Why we get back to this bag? Because 2022 is still bag season. We gonna keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it, it's DDK, and I'm on my way.